<laughs> so today we're looking at some of the science behind the beer, specifically the yeast that goes into making it, because that's not really something we hear a lot about or talk no. a lot about. You know, it's been a long time since I've had a great conversation about yeast. <laughs> yes, it, it sure has. It's long overdue, right? Yeah, lucky for us, <laughs> lucky for us, we have Dr. Kevin McCabe, the lab supervisor with Full Sail Brewing, in to talk a little bit about this. First of all, you're a lab supervisor, but you you have a PhD in what again? Cancer genetics. Cancer genetics. Of course. But now you're doing all this research with beer and yeast. So tell us a little bit about what you do and what you're here to talk to us about. So basically our lab does the analytical chemistry and microbiology for quantity, quality control for uh, the beer that Full Sail sends out. How does yeast come into this whole thing? And what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Looks so, like another dog to this me. Is, <laughs> this is actually a molecular model of ethanol, the alcohol okay. that yeast produce. So this is some yeast from one of our fermentation tanks at Full Sail, it's our ale yeast. There's probably about a trillion yeast cells in here. If you a lined trillion. them up side by side, it would stretch, this invisible line would stretch all the way to New York City. Wow. It's pretty crazy, but they're, they do all of the work for us at the brewery. The yeast are what turn the sugar from the grains into the ethanol and the CO2 that we all appreciate as the sort of the effervescence in beer and the alcohol, mm. of course, as well. So you're giving a talk on this whole subject tomorrow. So we'll give details on that in a minute, but it's a really interesting story. You're talking, talking about the evolution of yeast and how our bodies break it down. And what was that story? Right, so humans have genes for breaking down alcohol but we don't naturally make alcohol ourselves. We have the genes because we have this 80 million year relationship with yeast. Mm. And we've sort of evolved together as two species because we're so closely tied. And a great story out of this is a gene called alcohol dehydrogenase 4. It's the first step in breaking down alcohol in our bodies. And there was this single tiny little change in the gene that led to this protein being able to break down alcohol 40 times more effectively than it had been before. This uh, otherwise, it could have killed us, right? Right. Back so, right. right. Alcohol is toxic right. if you don't have the genes to break it down. And so yeast is everywhere. It's naturally found on fruit, and fruit will actually contain alcohol if it's left to sit around for very long. Ferment. To ferment. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yes. So you Mine have, is blown right now. <laughs> okay. You have unripe <laughs> fruit that doesn't have I a lot of sugar. Be. You have unripe fruit that doesn't have a lot of sugar. You have ripe fruit that has sugar, and as soon as you start to get the sugar here, the yeast start converting it to ethanol. But when you have overripe fruit, something like this, it's a little beat up, maybe mm -hmm. on the forest floor, it's gonna have a lot more alcohol, sometimes up to as much as you would find in a light beer. And so this genetic change happened right around the time our primate ancestors were coming out of the trees, and we're using this as sort of a backstop food to fill in their diet. And so the genetic change, along with the availability of this fruit, sort of allowed them to do better than those that, that, that has the to genes. change the flavor in the fruit. It has to change the flavor in the beer, right? Fermentation, oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It definitely changes the flavor. Um, and it enhances the flavor. Um, yeast have sort of evolved with us in the brewing industry to have very low levels of off flavor production mm -hmm. so that there's, we get the flavors we want from the yeast now because we've been working with them for 75,000 generations of yeast. And because they have a doctor on staff to figure it out. No kidding, doing the research. So Kevin, you will be giving a talk. Uh, it's called Science on Tap, Alcohol and the Coevolution of Humans and Yeast. There's the information on your screen. This is tomorrow night, Thursday night at seven o'clock at the Clinton Street Theater. You can get more information at scienceontap.com. Yeah, and you can be able to, yeah. can you get a beer while you're at the talk? Yeah, of course, yeah, that's the point of Science, Science on Tap. Yeah. Sign us up. There Let's you go. go. <laughs> Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Great. Thank you very much. Up Thanks. next, we